Hello, my name is Ivan Van Norman, and this is a quick overview of Hero Realms. Hero Realms by Robert Dowdy and Darwin Castle is a fantasy analog of the much-beloved Star Realms by White Wizard Games. Now, Hero Realms is an expandable deck-building game for two to four players designed for quick and repeatable gameplay. By battling your opponents with spells, items, and champions, your ultimate goal is to be the last adventure standing. Now, while this game is commonly played as a free-for-all, there are other modes of play in the rulebook as well, including team play and hunter mode. Rawr. To set up a standard game, each player forms a personal deck of 10 cards, consisting of a short sword, dagger, ruby, and seven gold. Everything a starting adventurer needs to embark on an ambitious quest. Now separate the 16 fire gems, as well as any unused items that were included in the personal deck from the box. Then shuffle the rest to make the market deck. Then draw five cards to complete the market, which are cards players can purchase during their turn. Using your health cards or digital device, or if you're really hardcore, pen and paper, mark your starting health at 50, and you're ready to play. So start by randomly determining the first player, sure, why not, and that player gets three cards. Damn, you first turn advantage individuals. Now while everyone else draws five, now, the starting player gets to play any and all of their cards in any order that they wish. Now, when an action or an item card comes into play, its primary ability, seen here, two gold, happens immediately. If the card shares a faction icon, like this, with any other cards in the play field, that gets activated as well. There are four different factions of cards. Guild, Necros, Imperial, and wild, not wild as in any faction, wild as in nature. Now there are also two main resources in Hero Realms in order to consider, combat and gold. Now as your abilities grant you these two resources, they're accumulated into a combat pool and a gold pool. Keep in mind, gold and combat pools do not roll over from round to round, so it's in your best interest to use these points during your turn. Now you use gold to, you guessed it, purchase items in the market. You may also purchase fire gems, which are valuable resources for accumulating more gold or inflicting some surprise damage on your opponents. Now when you purchase items with gold, they go straight to your discard in order to be used for a later round. Now you use combat to beat the snot out of your opponents or their champions. Damage to players subtracts their health and damage that exceeds a champion's defense number in a single turn sends them to the discard pile. Now, after you've played all your cards in your hands and their activated abilities on the cards, by the way, if you haven't learned yet, this game is all about the abilities, you draw a new hand of five cards. If you have no cards in your deck, you shuffle your discards to form a new deck to draw from. So if there was only four cards left in my deck, I'd draw four, and then shuffle one to make a card hand of five. There are also some cards that have guard on them. Now think of guards like a wall. Nothing else can be targeted or attacked except for cards with guard, and therefore they must be eliminated first. Now this exhaust ability, like on this cultist here, means that when you tap it, turn it sideways, you activate its ability. This is important because some cards refresh, untap, allowing you to use the ability again. Now all champions refresh at the end of the discard phase. Now let me show you an example of a turn. Let's say I played the Cult Priest, the Cult Priest, and Varric the Necromancer. Now these two I can tap for one attack each, either one gold or an attack. I'm gonna pick the attack. Also, they have their ally abilities, which means if I played other red cards with it, they each get four additional attack, making these two cards 10 attack total. Now, Varric has an ally ability that allows me to draw an additional card, giving me another gold, which I can use to buy this spark card, and it goes into my discard. And I will use my 10 attack from this in order to take my opponent from 48 health down to 38. Now after I'm done, I can take all of my cards that I've played or are in my hand and put them into the discard and refresh any tapped exhausted champions in play. Again, leftover gold and combat do not roll over. 
Also, if you're looking to up your game a little bit, Hero Realms has these cool character packs, which replace your starting deck, as well as give you some spells and additional abilities that are with you the entire game. And that's it for Hero Realms. I hope I managed to reduce your nose time in the rulebook. And as always, make sure to check out my shows, hang out on Twitch, and retweet me as much as possible. Thanks. Roll dice, play nice, be good, Internet. <laughs>